And it's kind of the same thing with us, that we started out yesterday with an exercise that got us to realize that a number of us were speaking, and I'm saying as a general description, speaking more specifically or more generally. Go ahead. And that we would find that if we got up into these generality, some of us just kind of faded away. We went, oh, come on, you know, get real, or I don't remember what was said, or some reaction. Meanwhile, other of us went, ooh, my favorite words. <laughs> Relationship, partnership, wisdom, clarity, happiness. We discovered yesterday that we like to hang out in one area. Now, in that sense, for some of you that like the nominalizations more, like the more abstract language, that you found the meta model a little tough, didn't you? This is like, you felt like they were trying to pin you down. It's like, no, I'm more flexible than that. And you are, and you are. And the usefulness of the meta model was to find a moment, an experience, either of greatness and of potential and of ability, or of difficulty that you want to transform. And in the other direction, when we got started to yesterday, some of you found that the course had been made a lot of sense up till this point. And suddenly it's like, what is he talking about? The organization of the performance of management can lead to enthusiasm and confidence that can cause integration of useful intelligence. Yes. Of course, this may remind you of some people. And now we're speaking to the idea of their internal dialogue and what kind of world that creates and how if you metamodeled them, that would change their consciousness, would it not? And that's what we're talking about here, is noticing how we can utilize changes in language to nudge, to encourage changes in consciousness.